Let's breakfast thrown together While she's sleeping in your high school sweater And you've never seen anything better It's the season three you're watching A little bit of evening walking Sitting with your best friend talking Oh, it's not just picture perfect Dancing in a white dress It's not just rainy day when nothing stops a fighting It's not just highs and lows And champagne toasts have come to know That love's not only the best days There goes my heart It's just two lovers Sitting in the car, listening to blonde Falling for each other Pink and orange skies, feeling super child It's no Donald Glover Miss call from my mother Like where you at tonight, got no alibi I was all alone with the love of my life She's got glitter for skin My radiant beam in the night I don't need no light to see you Please rise. We were just two lovers. Feet up on the dash, driving nowhere fast, burning through the summer. Radio on blast, make the moment last. She got solar power. Minutes feel like hours. She knew she was the baddest. Can you even imagine falling like I did? Before we begin, the couple has asked for an unplugged ceremony. So please take a moment to turn off any cell phones and please refrain from taking any pictures during this time. You can definitely catch them better later. So now with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you all, you may be seated. 
That was the hardest part, <laughs> just walking down. So Brandon and Kylie, I greet you, and on your behalf to our assembled guests, I welcome all of you to this ceremony. I remind all of us that we have been invited here for a holy purpose, not just to witness, but to join thoughts and prayers, asking God to bless Kylie and Brandon as they move into a married life together. Marriage is a gift that Brandon and Kylie are promising to give to each other every day. Contained in that gift is mutual care and companionship, which is comprised of the different faces of love. In your marriage, you will show one another the face of kindness, honesty, generosity, compassion, cooperation, and forgiveness. Through these faces of love, Kylie and Brandon will find their greatest joy in marriage. Let us pray. Creating God in the beginning, we are told in Genesis, you brought chaos to creativity in the making of this most magnificent planet. Likewise, we now call upon your spirit to open the hearts of all that have gathered here to participate in another beautiful new creation, the creation of Brandon and Kylie's union. We give you thanks this day, O oh God, for the presence of love among family and friends, and ask that all these present know your glorious purpose for Kylie and Brandon's union. We also ask that the legacy of spirit and love given to us in our lives by those who could not be here. We remember those of our family and friends that may not be here with us in this physical place, but nonetheless are part of this ceremony in spirit. And we now take a moment in silence to whisper those names in our hearts. Dear God, surround us now with your Holy Spirit that we may be in perfect relationship with each other as we join Kylie and Brandon in marriage. Amen. So we now have a reading that Diane is going to share with us, something from Richard Bach. The Bridge Across Forever by Richard Bach. A soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys that fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our true selves step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not for who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. When we're, when two, when we're two balloons and together our direction is up, chances are we found the right person. Our soulmate is the one who makes life come to life. Thank you. So now I'm going to read <laughs> something. This is from 1 Corinthians. You probably heard this before at weddings, and this is 1 Corinthians 13. But this is from the message version of the Bible, and I just love the way it, it flows, and it talks about what a marriage is about, and who we are as people. So Paul writes, If I speak with human eloquence and angelic ecstasy, but don't love, I'm nothing but the creaking of a rusty gate. If I speak God's word with power, revealing all his mysteries and making everything plain as day, and if I have faith that says to a mountain jump and it jumps, but I don't love, I'm nothing. If I give everything I own to the poor, and even go to the stake to be burned as a martyr, but I don't love, I've gotten nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe, or what I do, I'm bankrupt without love. Love never gives up. Love cares for more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut. Doesn't have a swelled head. Doesn't force itself on others. Love isn't always me first. Love doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't revel when others grovel. 
Love takes pleasure in the flowering of truth and puts up with anything. Trust God always, and love always looks for the best. Never looks back, but keeps going to the end. So love never dies. Inspired speech will be over someday. We don't yet see things clearly. We're squinting in a fog, peering through a mist, but it won't be long before the weather clears and the sun shines bright. And we'll see it all then, see it as clearly as God sees us, knowing him directly as he knows us. But for right now, until that completeness, we have three things to do to lead us toward this consummation. Trust steadily in God, hope unswervingly, love extravagantly, and the best of the three is love. All right, the readings are done. Okay. Whew. Got that part. Relax. How's the day going? Beautiful weather, huh? All right, small talk's done. So everybody relax. It's going to be about 40 minutes, so I got about eight pages here. No, no. Yeah, they're all like going. <sighs> so this is where I get to say those things that so many parents want to say to their children. All the hopes and dreams and love that have brought you here were laced with picking you up when you fell, lifting up your face when it hung down, and not knowing what to say to make you smile, knowing that all we wanted to do was tell you that love is here, and now it comes to today. Yes, love is here. Love is within this place, and what better way to celebrate it? And for those of us who have lived a few more years than you, what a testament to what your involvement in your lives has been. And now here we are. So I will attempt to speak for all who have brought you here today, and I include Susan, in that we are so happy for what you are proving to us. In this place, this time, you are not only committing your love for each other, but also showing us all that love is the strongest force in the universe. If it wasn't, so why would there be so many songs written with love as its theme? Now, I googled that. How many? This is what came up. It said, the question is impossible to answer because love is one of the most common themes in music. Thus, there are millions of songs about love. Losing love, finding love, missing a loved one, wishing for love, searching for love, being a grateful for love etc cetera, etc cetera. or this from a post rla03 she wrote i think it's a she yes there are more topics but i think that the reason love is a subject of so many songs is because there's nothing bigger scarier harder better or worse than love it's something we all know and relate to and it's such an intricate part of our lives yeah or sir paul mccartney he wrote, you'd think that people would have had enough of silly love songs. I look around me and I see it isn't so. Oh no. Some people want to fill the world with silly love songs. What's wrong with that? Well, I'm here today to proclaim that you are writing another love song, the song of Brandon and Kylie. So what is this song about? To get us thinking, here's one from Jack Johnson. And I first heard this song at Plymouth Rock Campgrounds with Tony and, at Tony and Dye's uh, Tiki Bar. <laughs> there is no combination of words I could put on the back of a postcard, no song that I could sing, but I can try for your heart. Our dreams, they are made out of real things like a shoebox of photographs with sepia tone loving. Love is the answer, at least for most of the questions in my heart, like why are we here and where do we go? And how come it's so hard? It's not always easy, and sometimes life can be deceiving. But I'll tell you one thing, it's always better when we're together. Jack Johnson. How about Ben Folds? I don't get many things right the first time. In fact, I'm told that a lot. Now I know all the wrong turns and tumbles and falls brought me here. Now it was right before the day that I first saw your lovely face. And now I see it every day and I know that I am, I am, I am the luckiest. Yes, music and songs, music is such a metaphor for our loves and our lives. 
It's all about the notes. And then there's that rhythm of life. And I'd say the speed and the flow of everything that you get involved in day in and day out can bring you to a symphony. A symphony created by, well, created by creation itself. And this marriage is right smack in the middle of it. You both know so well what your lives are about that each sheet of life's music that is put before you are able to play it. And now it can be played together. Harmony is sweet music indeed. Speaking of harmony, it works best when the two parts are able to hear each other, much like compromise, as the two of you spoke so many times about not to com compromise to say whatever, but to compromise to find the other where they are and be there with each other. By the way, how many people do that? Whatever. That's a compromise. It, it's literally a compromise saying, I give up. So don't give up. <laughs> it's all about communicating, learning to listen, learning the language that the other needs to hear. And both of you know this. You call it out as one of the toughest things, but also the best thing where you can find each other in conversation and in, well, just being there. Now, just because it can, and you're a bit captive right now, and I did this at our other gathering, our other ceremony, but these are all new quotes. These are quotes that I found regarding love and marriage. So let's see how you fit into these. My wife says I never listen to her. At least I think that's what she said. <laughs> Author unknown. How about this one? I dreamed of a wedding of elaborate elegance, a church filled with family and friends, and I asked him what kind of a wedding he wished for, and he said one that would make me his wife. Author unknown. How about this? We weren't sure about this until we read about all the tax breaks. <laughs> I don't think that works anymore. <laughs> and this one you heard. I love being married. It's so great to find that one special person you want to annoy for the rest of your life. Rita Rudner. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, this one for the day. I'm yours 100%. All sales, final. Two less fish in the sea. I like your last name. Can I have it? Today, we're kind of a big deal. Su a successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. Minion McLaughlin. And this last one. Successful marriage does not come merely through finding the right mate, but through being the right mate. Barnett Bruckner. So Kelly and Brandon, we had been at this altar before. It looked different. It was a place with a couch, some chairs, and windows opening up to the backyard. Yes, much different. But I would say much the same. Love was in the space. Fathers and mothers and brothers and sisters coming together to witness to what we all knew would be the next step. And as you came together in matrimony, we also knew that you came together as family, another family, to mark time and space upon this, God's creation. You did this, allowing your love for family to forego the splash of this grand gathering that we're having today for one that was a wish for another's happiness and comfort. This was brave, loving, and selfless. Thank you for what was given in love. You each have embraced a life of being one, but not in the way the world tries to portray oneness, but as a unified new creation ready to take on the world. Kylie, you are partnering with a unique individual who will challenge you, love you, and hold you up when it feels the world is tearing you down. And now you have an advocate for your best life, the life you have been gifted by relationship and trust. And likewise, Brandon, your partner in life, Kylie is here to accept the challenge of being your advocate in life's challenges and joys. Kylie has said yes, as you have to her, to not turning away, to not dismissing those things that may seem trivial and small, but being present to one another, to find love in all things and times. This is the gift you give to each other. Trust each other, forgive each other, love each other. It's not easy and not always on time or appropriate, not what we planned on. 
shorten time with those we cherish. But remember, love is the flow of all these good and beautiful things through each moment needing its own attention and sacrifice. Even the shortest of time in this life can have a huge effect. I know that you've seen this in your life experiences these past few years and have been living with this already. Learn from this. We are not guaranteed the next moment in our lives, but we must value and cherish each that we are given. The connecting thing to this is to forgive each other when we have taken this unconditional love for granted. We are all of good when love is remembered and given room for the next moment. May this be your covenant this day. Be there. Let us pray. Divine Spirit, we know your presence is with all of us here this special day of Kylie and Brandon's wedding, and we give thanks. We ask your blessing and love be with us during this ceremony and to especially fill the hearts of Kylie and Brandon as they pledge their love to one another. Amen. So we didn't uh, do rock, scissors, paper to see who's going to do their vows first. <laughs> so ladies who's first. brave? Oh, ladies oh, first. Ladies first. Oh, he's a gentleman. <laughs> Thank you. She had to just speak really loud. You can yeah. speak real loud, or do you want a microphone? I can, I can talk loud. That's fine. She's going to talk loud. Let her know. <laughs> okay. Maybe just come a little closer. <laughs> I'll sneak in. Thank you. Brandon, my love, you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. My life is truly so much better with you in it. Even when we first started dating, I knew I could always be open and honest with you. I will continue to be open and honest and prioritize our marriage. You have always loved me with your whole heart, and I vow to continue loving you with all that I am. I will continue to provide a safe space for us and be your best friend, as well as your loving partner. I continue to work alongside you to build a long life together. I vow to never stop in choosing us every day. The vow to continue to make you smile, work on communication, and love you fiercely, that sometimes comes with attitude, sorry. <laughs> and to continue facing and working through whatever hardships come our way. I will celebrate good moments and accomplishments with you, never let you go through anything alone. I will always be your rock and your biggest cheerleader forever and always. So, before I open this up and start reading it, I just want to express how gorgeous you look. You've <laughs> always been my dream girl, and today, finally, my dream came true. <laughs> oh. um, so, Kylie, today more than ever, how lucky am I to call you mine? From the start of our relationship, you've always been someone I felt so comfortable around. You always make it easy for me to be myself. Your love and your trust makes me to be a better person each day. All these years that we've been together, that's 10 by the way, <laughs> there's always been a mutual understanding that's only shared when two people are truly in love. You have been there for my greatest challenges. You have helped me believe in myself to become the person I am today. In your arms and by your side, I know we can do anything together. I see these vows I'm about to make you, not as promises, but also as privileges. I get to do so many things with you. I get to laugh with you and cry with you. I get to care for you and share with you. I get to build with you and live with you. I get to go on adventures with you and share the most important moments of life with you. The vows that I made to you two months ago are the same vows that I promise you today, then, and for the rest of our lives. So with that being said, Kylie, I vow to always put you first. I vow to be there with you in the toughest and darkest of times. I vow to laugh with you, and I vow to pick you up when you are down. I vow to be there with you when you need me. I vow to protect you from all harm, and I vow to pr work on myself so I can be the best husband for you. And I vow to grow old with you and, share, and cherish every moment of this life we have together. You are my bestest friend, I cannot, and I cannot picture my life without you. And there is nobody that I would rather share my life and grow with. 
I love you now and forever. That was good. Well done. <laughs> now, before God and God's people, I ask you, Brandon and Kylie, to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship by being here. Do you, Kylie, knowing this man's love for you and returning it, realizing his strengths and learning from them, recognizing his weaknesses and helping him to overcome them, take Brandon to be your lawfully wedded husband. If so, please say, I do. I do. <laughs> do you, Brandon, knowing this woman's love for you and returning it, realizing her strengths and learning from them, recognizing her weaknesses and helping her to overcome them, take Kylie to be your lawfully wedded wife? If so, please respond, I do. I do. You could also say, I did. <laughs> so, Kyle and Brandon, what will you share to symbolize your love? Bling. Rings. Rings. Oh, look at that. There we go. So, rings are circles, and so are donuts, and hula hoops, and trampolines. Yes, circles are symbols, and for today, these, these rings so true. Rings are more than a piece of metal around our fingers, but they too can represent the sweetness of life, hence donut, the fun of being together, hula hoop, and the opportunity to jump together into your living, trampoline. Let it be so. Let us pray. Gracious and giving God, bless these rings as the sign and symbol of Brandon and Kylie's love for one another reminding them, too, of your encircling love and unending faithfulness to their life together. Amen. It's Brandon. You know which finger to put that on, right? Pretty confident, Good. yeah. We didn't practice this, so. <laughs> so, <laughs> please repeat after me. Kylie, with this ring. Kylie, with this ring. I give to you my promise. I give to you my promise. From this day forward. From this day forward. You will not walk alone. You will not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. My arms be your home. My arms be your home. May we walk together through all things. May we may we walk together through all things. May you feel deeply loved. May you feel deeply loved. For indeed you are. For indeed you are. Kylie, please repeat after me. Brandon, with this ring. Brandon, with this ring. I give to you my promise. I give to you my promise. From this day forward. From this day forward. You will not walk alone. You will not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. May my arms be your home. May my arms be your home. May we walk together through all things. May we walk, may we walk together through all things. May you feel deeply loved. May you feel deeply loved. For indeed you are. For indeed you are. Now, members of this gathering and the family and the whole congregation, do you pledge your support and encouragement to the covenant and the commitment that Kylie and Brandon are making together? If so please respond, we do. We do. Oh, you can do better than that. We do. We do. We do. Thank you. <laughs> Let us pray. Bless this marriage, O oh God, as they begin their journey down the road of life together. We don't know what lies ahead for the roads and turns and bends, but help them to make the best of whatever comes their way. Help them to continue to enjoy each other as they did when they first met. Help them to realize that nothing or no one is perfect and to look for the good in all things and all people, including themselves. Help them to respect each other's likes and dislikes, opinions and beliefs, hopes and dreams and fears even though they may not always understand them. Help them to learn from each other and to help each other to grow mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Help them to realize that no matter what happens to them, they will hold on to each other and know that things have a way of working out for the good. Help them to create a peaceful, stable home of love as a foundation on which they can build their lives. But most of all, dear God, 
Help them to keep lit the torch of love that they now share so that by their loving example, they may pass on the light of love to their families and the world in which they live. Amen. So now you're going to witness something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a hand washing ceremony. And you can make your way over to the... So we many times find that water is the sustainer of our lives. It flows through us when we thirst, need rejuvenation or comfort. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for us, that we are holding yours on your wedding day. As we promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together we build our future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. And lastly for Brandon, these are the hands that will hold you when fear of grief fills your mind. Yes, these are the hands of your best friend that will countless times wipe the tears from our eyes, tears of sorrow and the tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children, hands that will work alongside to build and grow and express, express mm -hmm. joy and love. These are the hands that will help you to hold like your family as one. Yeah, like these are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. So Brandon and Kylie, you've committed yourselves to each other in this joyous and sacred covenant. Become one, fulfill your promises, and serve the power of love in this marriage. So all gathered by their promises made before us this day, Kylie and Brandon have united themselves in marriage. What love has brought together cannot be separated. So with the blessing of God and the blessing of all these gathered, I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may seal your marriage with a kiss. <laughs> and now our, our blessing. I invite you to join me in your hearts for a final blessing. Please pray with me. Dear God, bless this couple as they depart from your altar here. Yet may they know that all of life and their marriage is your altar. May this new covenant serve your purposes for heaven on earth. Amen. It is my great privilege to announce and celebrate with you the love covenant of Mr. and Mrs. Brandon and Kylie Unger. <laughs> <laughs>